Come in. I've returned, my lady. I'm sorry that I left everything for you to take care of. So how's she doing? She'll make a full recovery. But her husband had to be locked up. He's restrained in the basement. Isn't it difficult treating humans? With all that blood, I mean. Is that what you think? She chokes back her own drool when she treats a human? Cause demons can't control themselves? Don't do that. Treating humans is not all that difficult, actually. At least, for me. But it is different for other demons. I have modified my body's physiology quite considerably. And I've removed Kibutsuji's curse. What curse? And what kind of changes? Why don't we go somewhere we can sit down and talk? I need to hear your side of the story as well. I see. Now I understand what happened. In that case, I think I can certainly be of help to you. But first, I would like to continue where I left off and tell you a bit more about ourselves. As I said earlier, we are demons. However, I made several adjustments to our bodies so we could continue to live without harming any human beings. As a result, we can survive on just a small amount of human blood. Wait, blood? So you're saying... I understand if you find it distasteful, but I buy it from those in poverty. I tell them I'll use it for transfusions. But of course, I never take enough blood to impair anyone. No wonder. That would explain why neither one of them has the same scent as a normal demon. And Yushiro needs even less blood than I do, since I'm the one who turned him into a demon. You turned him? But... how? How did I do it? Well, as far as anyone knows, Kibutsuji is the only one who can create demons. And that is more or less accurate. I tried for over 200 years, and still, Yushiro was my only successful transformation. What? I'm sorry, I should clarify. Creating more demons is not one of my goals. I only attempt to do so when necessary, on the terminally ill or injured, and only when they won't otherwise survive. And even in those cases, I always ask in advance if they would truly prefer to live on as a demon. <laughs> Her scent is pure. No signs of deception. I think I can trust her. Miss Tamayo, once someone becomes a demon, is there a way to turn them back again? A way to make a demon human again? There is. <sighs> Please, tell me how! There's always some form of medicine or aid, no matter the wound or ailment. That said, I don't yet know how to turn a demon back into a human. But I promise we will find a way. We are quite dedicated to establishing such a treatment. The first step involves studying the blood of a number of different demons. Which means I have two favors to ask you. First, I'd like permission to study your sister's blood. Second, we need more samples. I'd like you to retrieve them from demons that have Kibutsuji's blood running strong through their veins. Nezuko's condition is extremely rare, perhaps entirely unique. I understand she was asleep for two years. I believe her body changed during that time. In most cases, that long without food, neither human flesh nor the blood of an animal, would undoubtedly cause any demon to grow violent. However, against all odds, Nezuko is showing none of those signs. That miracle could be the key to finding a solution. Nezuko... But my second request is not a simple one. When I say demons with Kibutsuji's blood, I mean demons with powers like those of Kibutsuji himself. Extracting blood from that kind of demon won't be easy. So, what do you think? Are these requests acceptable? If not pleasant. If it's really the only way, then I'll do it. Besides, if you study all that blood, and you can create this medicine, then it won't just be Nezuka, will it? A whole lot of other people will be saved too. Yes, they will. 
Oh no! Get down! <laughs> Turns out you were right, Yahava. This building just materialized out of nowhere. The handiwork of someone using a blood demon art that can hide objects. But that won't erase their footprints. You can't fool my eyes. Hmm. We're supposed to be tracking down a demon slayer. But is he keeping company with demons? I have to say, Susamaru, your way of doing things is just so immature. Utterly careless. Oh, stop whining. Who cares about dust? My Tamari just uncovered their hiding place. Did Kibutsuji send those two? Their scents are different than any other demons I've ever met. They're stronger. Or thicker, maybe. It feels heavy inside my lungs. Oh, we're looking for a demon slayer who wears Hanafuda earrings. That would be you, right? They're targeting me? Who's having fun? I know I sure am! You're about to be killed by one of the 12 Kizuki. Doesn't that make you feel special? 12 oh, Kizuki? They're directly under Kibutsuji. <laughs> now then, let the games continue until morning comes and you're all dead! Miss Tamayo, are these the kind of demons you need? I'd presume so. Got it. All right, then their blood will be yours! Finish this. Follow my lead, Yahaba. Wow, I had no idea you could do this. Earrings, earrings. If I defeat him, I'll be the favorite for sure. Indeed. Let's get this over with. Thanks to Yushiro, I can see the ball's trajectories. Now to finish this. Watch your back. Don't let your guard down. If they really are part of the 12 Kizuki, don't underestimate them. They're more powerful than any other demon you've faced before. Water breathing! Ten form! Constant blood! Right! Keep- Let's finish this. Follow my lead, Yahaba. Be careful. And breathe. Okay, here I go! I'll throw as hard as I can! What a wheel! 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 Let's have some fun! Well, aren't you a tough one to crack? I have to keep moving! I need to go faster! Isn't this a blast? What a wheel! Isn't this a blast? Not bad for an amateur. <laughs> now we're talking! Oh. Can you believe our luck? We've found Tamayo the fugitive. She'll make quite a souvenir. Hey, Yahaba. You think four heads will be enough for us to take home? Too many. We only need two. 
Demon Slayer and the Fugitive. We have no use for the others. Huh. Well, I'm still gonna have some fun before we take the Demon Slayer's head. Let's get that woman's head first. Now! Die! Nezuko... Can she handle this? If Nezuko keeps one of them busy, it will be easier to focus on the other one. But... No, this isn't the time to be worrying. We just have to do it. Nezuko, you go after one of them, and I'll defeat the other. You just have to keep them distracted until then. <laughs> You're going to fight me on your own? How foolish. Mari will rip a hole through your body. <laughs> Get out of my sight! How dare you! Get out of my sight! <laughs> Not bad. You're a damn pest! <laughs> You're a stubborn one. How fun! I'm gonna play with you until you... Okay, time to get serious. You will dodge this one! You're damn fast! Hurry and bite the dust! No. How could this happen? Why am I having so much trouble fighting? Okay, time to get serious. Lady Tony, what does this mean? This is nothing but Nezuko's own strength. She has been able to make herself rapidly grow more powerful without leaving any humans whatsoever. Not bad! I'll blow his heart! Tomio, she's actually managing to push her back. Yes, but both being demons, at this rate they'll be at a stalemate until dawn breaks. I must do something. <laughs> I think it's about time for you to disappear, you filthy little demon slayer. And in the cruelest way imaginable. I have to calm down. I can't afford to get distracted. I just have to keep an eye out for opportunities to get closer until there's nowhere for him to run. Come on, I can do it! Hmm. The more I look at you, the filthier you seem. I won't let you get near me. He's using those arrows to keep me away! I can't let it go me up. I have to keep pushing forward! I'll make you pay for this! <laughs> you pest! Would you stop kicking up dust everywhere? Do not irk me, you pathetic human. Even if I get covered in dirt, no matter how many times I fall down, it's okay, as long as I win in the end! I'll make you pay for this! You pest! Uh, 
close. Find an opening. Cut off his head! Time for you to die! Twist! Envelop! Twisting whirlpool! Flowing water! Not a chance! My sword is so heavy! But I've got this! Second form! Improve! I'll get his blood! I have to! I need that medicine! No matter what! I'll fight whatever demons I have to, and take out every single one! Ladder up! The water wheel! I did it! Oh, you damn brat! I just needed to bring him your head. That's all it would have taken to finally win his approval! I'll never forgive you. I'll make sure you pay for what you've done to me! My face is filthy now! I swear I'll bring you down with me! Oh no! He's got me! I have to use every move I have to stop him! Or my body will be crushed! Fourth form! Striking time! Do something! Think fast! Don't get beaten! Not here! Water wheel! Waterfall basin! Water surface slash! Drop ripple thrust! Whirlpool! I cracked my rib, and broke my leg. It, it's no use. I'm so exhausted. I can't even hold my sword. I gotta go. I gotta get over there. There's one more demon left! Hang on. I'm coming. I'll be there soon. Please be safe. Just hang on! Is it over? Is she dead? She will be momentarily. This is Kibutsuji's curse. The cells he left in her body rip her apart from the inside. Tanjiro, this demon we fought is not one of the Twelve Kizuki. What? The Twelve Kizuki all have numbers engraved on their eyeballs, but she doesn't have one. Which means that the other demon likely doesn't either. They were too weak. Too weak? Really? But with any luck... This blood will still be instrumental for us in developing a cure. <laughs>